To make this cute frame, I'm using a foam board. And the size of this foam board is 50 by 65. And as you see, this foam board is not very uh, new. It's had a bit accident, but uh, don't mind because I'm gonna cover this. Sorry, my camera is blurring. What I was saying, I'm gonna cover this with different uh, pictures. So I measured now every side. They're gonna be the same uh, width. And it's uh, seven, seven centimeters. It's about like three inches. Yeah, it is three inches or seven centimeters. So it's all around the same. I'm gonna use kitchen knife. It's very sharp. And I'm gonna cut it out on my kitchen floor because the tiles are very good. It's not scraping out. All good and so I'm cutting out pressing and just cutting all the way around and once it's done I'm gonna push out okay if it doesn't want to push out just go around again same line oops I'll try to do the same line okay Hold on. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint it with purple color. I'm using acrylic paint and I'm gonna mix that with white a poster paint. And I'm gonna use a flat little brush. I'm gonna mix these together and paint this side two coats and the other side, the bad one, only one coat because it looks much better if both sides are nice. You can use a color paper to cover it all, but I really like that purple color and I don't mind painting. So I'm gonna mix these together and I have glasses underneath because it lifts up off the ground. It's faster drying and it's less mess to keep like that. So the frame is dry, that's after two coats, looks like that. And as you see, my working table is full of stuff now. And this is my uh, daughter's birdie uh, frame. So she loves these little cute, I think they call pushings. And um, I copied this one um, and I'm gonna color it. And I, on the other side, I draw donuts and she loves potatoes for some reason. Um, so I have some colors and crayons and pencils, whatever I might need grab. And I'm gonna sprinkle some glitter. I have silver and this this like really nice dusty sea trooper. It's like really a blingy one. And she's gonna be 10. I'm going to do number in gold, in this gold. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Usually I do the numbers like in biggish and I want something like to pop out. And her name I'm gonna do in the same gold. I'm not sure about the birdie writing what color gonna be you'll see when I lay out everything out but I have like just in case like different colors paper so I'm gonna start now I'm gonna show you how I make this glittery 10 first I'm gonna cut the number out done and now I'm taking a small glass and PVA glue I'm gonna pour just a little bit Yeah, just a little bit because all I need is just for the number and for the name. And I'm gonna mix it with glitter. Okay, not too much because I want this kind of a bit runny. Now I'm gonna mix it. So 
it's kind of like that. It's not very glittery sparkly, but it's a mixture. And I'm using the old board which kind of left over from the frames. And I'm gonna put them over here. The reason I mixed in the glitter because when I sprinkle the glitter now, it gonna catches the not glued glitter better. If you know what I mean, it's kind of a grabs. So it's all done. Now I open the big jar and be very careful now. I'm gonna kind of sprinkle like this side by side. I hate wasting glitter. Um, whatever is left over, I'm gonna put it back. And so just make sure you cover everything. And then if you see any gaps, you just can spread it with your finger. I can look so good. So good. Yeah. <laughs> it's all done. So I'm just gonna put it on my finger and I'm gonna shake it off. Shake all the excess. As you see, it looks so sparkly and magic. Okay, and then I'm gonna shake this off. And I'm gonna leave it to dry. now to use that paper okay so it's over here and in the middle it should be a and I'm looking I think S has to be a bit chubbier And I'm gonna do the same as I don't with number 10. I'm gonna cover it with glitter. Uh, for the birdie writing, I pink, picked kind of pinkish color. It's nice and soft pink. And I write the letters, I wrote the letters in the opposite way. It's easy for me, but if you have <coughs> sorry, stencils, it's much better for you to do. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this out like this and I'm gonna turn around. See, that's the bad way. It's a good way. And once I turn them around, all you have to do just write the opposite way. So this is how it looks when I lay down everything. Uh, it's not glued yet because I might change my mind uh, and change swap a few things but at the moment I like everything how it looks. I made a few extras like cupcake, pizza, cookie. Uh, I'm gonna put a few lovers in places and then when I lay down the birdie it didn't pop it out that much so I decided to outline a few letters and I think it looks much much better so I'm gonna do them and then I'm gonna show my finished result and by the way I'm gonna glue everything with a bread stick uh, 
this one. It's very good. Every mistake and stays on. And will be it. Starting first from the, the letters and kind of sort it out with the middle. Lay them out and then I'm gonna use the press stick and stick them on. 